Hello everybody. Today I am going to show you my strategy for making a personalized doormat. Some supplies you will need. I do this with my Cricut. So I need my long cutting mat, some vinyl. Uh, the vinyl will get thrown away so I just used my some that I had stored from a clearance sale. Um, my weeding tools, also need paint, a bristly brush, an empty mat, and a acrylic spray clear coat. So you can see I've already done the designing phase, obviously. I'm cutting out this design that I made for a friend who recently got married. They have some animals and they're building a new house. So I thought I'd make them a doormat to celebrate. So I've weeded the design and now I'm going to be peeling it and sticking it onto the mat. This part can get a little bit frustrating because the bristly mats that I like to use, they don't hold um, the vinyl to it super well. I mean, it sticks a little, but not as well as like a cup or the things you would normally work with vinyl with. I've considered just do, using like paper or cardboard before, but it does stick a little bit with the vinyl, so I find that that helps. You'll see here that I kind of get it stuck on itself and I have to work to untangle it and that happens, but um, if you just go slow and be patient with yourself, um, you can get it to all work out. Um, it's for this, this is the same reason that I don't use transfer tape. Um, because that vinyl just does not stick well enough and when you try to peel the transfer tape off the whole thing just comes along with it. So um, you can see that I'm working through it here. I do it in pieces and then I use um, extra garbage vinyl or what I weeded out to fill any holes. And I'm uh, just peeling off the inside of the letters and filling that in just by eye. And now I'll do the animals. You'll see that I save the horse for later because it lays where part of my stencil is now. So I'm just going to do the three animals for now. And I'll paint the horse on after that uh, big stencil comes up. So once I do um, start painting, you'll see that the camera starts getting really shaky because I do use a pretty aggressive um, stamping motion with a bristled brush to get really deep down in the bristles so that it's a very thick black color. Um, this kind of ruins the brush, but I've done like four mats now, I think, and I've used the same brush every time I clean it. but. Um, it kind of helps once the bristles are spread out a little bit actually I think um, it helps to get it deeper in there. The paint I'm using is just regular acrylic paint and then I do an acrylic clear coat to protect it afterwards. But I know there are outdoor acrylic paints and even some outdoor spray paints that you could try to use. Um, I would be fine with trying an outdoor acrylic paint but I'm a little hesitant to try a spray paint because I would just worry that it would go underneath the stencil. So I've let it dry, I'm pulling it up, and now I will finish by adding the horse. You can see that this also starts kind of sticking to itself once I try to get it off. I've never tried it with any other textured mat, but definitely if you can get it to stick and use transfer tape, that would make this process easier. But the one time I tried to use transfer tape, I decided I would never again do that because it was pretty much just pointless. And once I get this figured out, I'll do the black, um, paint the horse, and let that dry. Take up all the insides of those letters and then it will be almost ready to go. You can see I'm using paper here because that line is so thin between my stencil and the rug. I just don't want to get it, get the black outside the stencil. Um, 
All right, so I'll take the insides out and then I'll bring it outside and spray it with some clear coat just to seal everything in. Uh, if you want to look on my blog at the link posted in the description, I go through these instructions, I write them out, and you can also see some other rugs I've done um, using this method. I think it's a great wedding gift, housewarming gift. Um, you can do lots of seasonal designs for yourself. Just a nice personalized touch. And there it is, all set. So thank you for watching and let me know if you have any questions.